What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Classic Kings video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel. And make sure you guys tell your alliance because I have over 350 videos here. A lot of guides, a lot of strategies. You will get better at Clash of Kings and therefore your alliance will get better. And hopefully you guys can win more events and take home the throne. Get all the glory, you guys know what I'm talking about. So guys, check it out. They put the buildings here inside. And what I'm going to do tomorrow or maybe later tonight because... uh. Every time I miss a video, which has only happened a few times, I do daily videos here. Um, if I miss a video, I usually come here and do two the next day. So I'll probably go to the beta and show you guys what those are. But today's video is going to be about the heroes. So as you guys know, we did the video on the hero. Bernard, the booty slapper, he's got his whip and he likes to please his king, if you know what I'm saying. Um, anyways, he's not doing just more than pleasing the king. He's pleasing all of us so let's go ahead and take a look at what he does here so you can garrison him inside the buildings guys so as you can see i don't have um you know what i'm gonna have to put him into some uh let's go ahead and change his talents so we're gonna reset the skill points i got 59 points inside combat what i'm gonna do is change him to troop training speed so i'll get training capacity hospital capacity let's see what i need to get troop training speeds up the training of troops so that's going to be like five percent right so we've got five fifteen twenty yeah we got plenty we got plenty and then we'll be able to get even marching speed um can we get down to if we really upgrade this guy we can get down here which is really the big one that's like going to be what ten percent there and then two and a half percent there so Let's say we put it into support. So I have him inside the um, college right now because he gives 5% research speed. And I'm doing a long 7-day research which increases the size of my rally when I'm attacking thrones. It's a very big research in the game. It's going to add like, um, you know, a few thousand more troops. Like probably like 10,000 more troops uh, inside the rally. Which every troop counts when you're hitting the throne. So um, we're trying to get that maxed out so we can have the biggest rally size in the whole kingdom. Um, which I think we do have. So... I put Bernard inside of there, and then if you click him, you can see his attributes. So, let's go ahead and, um, well, I don't know if I can cancel him while it's upgrading. That's the thing. So, I'm a little bit nervous about that. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna pull him out. I don't think it's going to cancel my, here, because I think I have to go to details and cancel research. So, I don't think it's going to cancel the research, but let's see if it takes away from the amount of time. So, 16 days, 17 hours. Let's go ahead and cancel him out. The building is busy. Unable to send, switch, or cancel the hero garrison. Okay. So when you put it in, you can't pull him out until um, the research is finished. So what I really want to figure out is is if I... Um, let me see if I've got any science. I don't think I've got six days worth of science research speedups. I got 29, so got about two days worth. Um, we're not going to mess with it. But, you can put him in here, and it will increase your training speed if you have it in to training speed. So, as you can see, I have a really fast training speed. Um, but, I'm going to have to, uh, I'll have to put my skills into support. And then I can put him in here to increase the training speed. So, that's what I think is, um, the main focus of it would be. So, basically, if you want to, like, train a bunch of one kind of troop, and you're going to use speed ups, make sure you use Bernard or whatever hero you're using for that. That's going to be very important. Now, you can unlock more than one hero. So once you can get more than one hero, uh, you could just uh, put one in one building, one in the other building. And you could just keep switching their um, sets and everything. So it's pretty interesting uh, how they have it set up. Now, I think it would be better if you could ungarrison them after you start the action. Because that's what you can do with all the other buffs in the game. You don't have to wait. Like, I can set a rally, change my level 25 glass to... Or level, change my level 15 glass to level... Um, uh, 25 or 30 and then it'll be give me the attack buffs plus the rally size so I hope that they'll eventually allow you to, to do that but I did get 5% research speed on seven days so that's pretty cool so um, yeah if you're gonna use a bunch of speed ups on a building then definitely put Bernard or whatever hero you have inside the building he will give you speed ups if you have him set into support now some of you have told me that you went to attack the you went to attack something and it wasn't showing up on your uh, it wasn't showing up on your stats. You had the hero in your march and it wasn't showing up on your stats. So I can't select the hero because he's in that building. You see what I see that? So uh, I don't. The reason I did that is because I don't need to use it for a few days. You know what I mean? I have uh, 
I don't have any events until Wednesday. We have the drag or the ancient battlefield, which I'll be live streaming on Twitch, by the way, unless I get my YouTube figured out. That's been a whole mess. Uh, I won't even get into that. But yeah, let's uh, let's take a look if there's anything else that we can um, get out of him. So in the blacksmith, you can get your building speed increased, or your um, probably can get your forging speed increased if there's something in his attributes. I don't think there is. I think it's just for building speed. So. Um, you can get building speed on everything. Now, I don't think you can send him to the castle yet. I think they should allow that. You can send him to the wonder. But, <clears throat> let me show you what I'm talking about here. You can go to the hero. You got these skills too. Let's see what's in city development. After using it, troop training, mount. Okay, so these are some pretty cool skills. It's going to take down your consumption. It's going to take down your... Uh, it's going to increase your... Um, it's going to boost the troops for an hour. So let's go ahead and go to Hero, Talent, Development. This is what's going to be mostly important for a lot of you. So say you've already got your your Lord level up to like 40. I would commit like maybe 25% of my uh, experience into the Hero. Because you can get the build speed here. So that's going to be 2.5%. Then if you go all the way down here, I'm sure they've got another build speed. Okay, no they don't. They do have research speed. Okay, now right here. Construction speed up right there. So that's going to give you 12.5% uh, building speed. So, remember, if you've got that 12.5%, remember I did my um, video where I said you can get 100% building speed up? Well, now you can get 112%. Plus, if you really have all your secondary pieces of equipment, like I've got my secondary ring, Got my secondary boots, got my secondary armor, all for healing speed mostly for battle. I got my secondary pants. I actually need to break these uh, level 40 gold pants down. I do not need them anymore because I'll be using, I'm trying to get the gold equipment set here um, is what I really want because it's going to give me like, you know, I think it's like 18% on each of these, which I really need. But I did get these uh, level 25 trust pants, which are the only pants in the game with attack bonuses. So that's why I wanted them. Of course, with the shoes, I've got the 18-19% uh, archer attack, which is amazing. So yeah, we're doing big things with the equipment. Um, for dual skills, I have my siege and archer attack right here, which I will use on dual skills, as well as uh, this has infantry cavalry siege. This has cavalry archer siege, so I'll put the Vite Knight's Visor on for dual skills as well. So I have all my stuff set for dual skills, because with dual skills, you want to send archers and siege, because it basically... If you send archers in siege, he has to defend with 100,000 archers in siege, which are not good defenders, as you know. So you want to send, like, maybe 25% archer, 75% siege, and it'll be a massacre. I actually, um, what's his name? Um, I met him in a Kingdom Conquest. He gave me some tips on, um, on the, uh, on the, um, duel skill. Because he hit me with a duel, and I, and I lost, and I was like, well, what the hell? I've got um I've got good stats and everything. I shouldn't be losing dual skills. Well, he showed me that he sent all archers in siege. So then I had to defend with archers in siege. And then it, it's just like, uh, you know, it's a way to manipulate the system. So that's a little tip for you guys if you're doing dual skills. Probably maybe 1% of you have the dual skill. Probably less than that. Probably like a half of 1% of you have the dual skill. So that's everything that I know so far about the hero. If you guys know anything, as you know, we like to share all the tips and tricks in the comment section below. That's where we learn. That's where I learn. I learn things from you as you learn things from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork makes dream work. Smash the thumbs up button if you guys can. Watch these videos that are popping up on the screen right now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. 60% of you that watch these videos every single day aren't even subscribed. Make an account. If you already have an account, subscribe. Or make an account and subscribe so that we, we can talk to you in the comment section. We want to talk to you guys. Let's go. Alright guys, see you in the next video tonight. Peace.